Hi everyone, it's Karen here from Karen's Mixed Media. How are you today? I'm going to show you a, um, a page that I've done in my journal um, and it's just my Dina Wakeley journal that I've smooshed in some other paint that I had left over. I didn't really like it so I'm going over it with some um, Prima Impasto paints. I've got the colours of Mediterranean, Dusty Rose and Wild Iris. I really like these paints because they're really, um, they're really, really thick and quite opaque. And um, I really like how how they um, still leave um, brush strokes and, and things like that still in the paint as you've used it. So it's a wonderful paint. So now that I've got it dry, I'm just adding in some some other colours. This is a um, paper artsy fresco paint. Um, I've got guacamole and bougainvillea. And I really do like those two colours together. They're very bright and colourful. Um, the fresco paint is actually a chalk paint. So when it dries, it's it's quite chalky. Um, but it's, it's really fun to... To use and to to art on, um, you can use it many many ways. But I'm just using it with a paintbrush. So now I've got some um, some Tim Holtz marking stamps, and I've got my Jane Davenport Squid Ink pad in white. So um, I'm just putting a few a few little marks around. Um, my stamp set is a new one that I just got. I have got the, the other marking set, but I really like the other one as well. So I'm also using um, some images that I bought off Etsy from Tandy Art. I'll put a link in the description if you'd like to um, purchase them for yourself. Um, they're great little images and I've just printed them out onto photo paper. And I've stuck on some... Um, some extra wide double-sided tape onto the back so um, I've turned them into a sticker so I just cut out my little fairy girl there and I'm going to cut out a little flower to go on her hair as well so it's just the one sheet um, that I bought and it's got a bunch of different images on it so I thought it was cute I really like Tandy Out's um, artwork so I've got her in place now, just putting a little bit of glue under that little tab. So there I've got some um, some Prima liquid acrylic in black. So I'm just going around my little fairy girl just to give her a little bit more definition um, so she pops out from the background a little bit more. So I've got that dry. And now I've got a stencil. My stencil is from um, Dark Rim Door. And the paste that I've got there is called Greek and Gold and it's from the Crafters Workshop. I really love the, the gold um, paste. Uh, I think it's just beautiful. So just put that in there and popped it in with the stencil. I'm just smooching out the... Um, the little bit of the excess there so that looks pretty cool um, coming in with a little bit more of the liquid acrylic just to help bring that little fairy up and because I've got some paint left I decided to do a few little um, paint splats so just get that dry I have cut most of my drying out because it is quite cold here in Tassie at the moment. So um, things are taking a very long time to dry. Uh, so I've just got a Posca paint pen now. Just adding in a few other little details around the place. Just to help brighten up some of those white splotches that I had happening. And I've also got a black one. The black one's a little bit finer. So just putting in a few extra little dots around there and I've still got a little bit of um, paint left for, for of the black so I'll come back and use that in a minute but um, now I've got a calico collage 
um, page, Words. Um, also bought that off Etsy, so I'll pop the link in again in the description box if you'd like to um, purchase that for yourself. They're really quite cute. Again, I've just printed it out onto some um, photo paper, but you can print it out onto whatever you like. And I've just glued that in there. So I'm just making sure that that paste is dry, which it is. So now, yep, I'm now I'm using the rest of that black liquid acrylic. Um, the Prima liquid acrylic, acrylic, acrylics, sorry, <laughs> are really, um, they're really great little paints. Um, they're permanent when they're dry as well, and I really like that. So, um, yeah, once you've got it in place, then that's it. So I've just put a little bit of um, journaling on there, a little bit more stamping, and my page is just about done. So I hope you've enjoyed my little art journal adventure today. Um, feel free to, to share my YouTube clip if you like, and please like and subscribe if you haven't done already. Till next time, bye.